Grandma, how's it going up there? You're watching, right? How do I look right now? I'm guessing pretty bad. In terms of spiciness at the Mabo Curry Shop, it's at least a 10, right? Okay, I get it, Grandma. You're right, per usual. The situation might be tough, but it doesn't matter, really. After all, even if there only seems to be doom at the end, there's only one way forward. That's to keep on fighting nobly, because that's the Fulcott family way! All right. Instead of thinking you're surrounded by foes, simply picture it as a series of one-on-one -on -one fights. Then, even the spiciest Mabo curry ain't that bad. Right? Take this! Here! Take this! Take this! Bring in more Take this! Taken down. Well, whatever. Thanks to this, I was able to buy that peddler enough time to escape. That makes all of this worthwhile. Of course, now it comes down to how nobly I can finish this thing. Right. This is it. Time to put it all on the line. Make this last fight one to remember! of you for a second. Apparently so. But still, for as long as I live and breathe, I promise, I won't let you die in a blaze of glory, Leo. <laughs> you trying to steal my thunder? But seriously, thanks, guys. Now, let's do this! You, you got, got it! it. For me. Sure. Celia, you take that in. Hey, wait a minute, Leo. I thought. <laughs> Did you see that, Grandma? A thrilling comeback from an almost certain death. It takes a noble spirit to put on that kind of show. But guess who's got one? Me, Leo Fukad. All you did was get rescued by your childhood friends. If anyone deserves credit for acting nobly back there, it's me and Celia for risking our lives to save you. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here while we can. Leo, you okay? Sure, no problems here. If memory serves, there's a village not far from here. It's on the smaller side. I think it was called Ducey? Why don't we head there for now? We can rest and pick up supplies. Sounds good. I gotta say, the way you started talking about spicy curry to your grandma in that life or death situation. It came off a little more cute than noble. Reminded me of you as a kid. Oh. You heard that, did you? Mm-hmm. So what are we gonna do with you? 
You end up in mortal peril every time we take our eyes off you. Not every time. Relax, you don't need to treat me like I'm an infant. Honestly, it'd be easier to watch if you were an infant. You'd have to crawl towards danger instead of sprinting. Uh, look, it's not like it's intentional. I don't go out looking for trouble, it comes after me. This time, in the form of someone who needed help. This time, huh? Okay, like most times. I'm sorry, all right? Sheesh. <sighs> you don't sound like it. I mean, this isn't the first time we've had to bail you out. You're the best. The most reliable pals a guy could ask for. Keep up the good work, you heroes. Yeah, I think you're laying it on a little thick there. Take that! Take that! I like this forest. It's a nice place for a walk. We're not here on vacation, Leo. Right, but I understand how it feels. Having grown up in Sylvair, we're practically one with the forest. Well, yeah, I get that. <laughs> Looks like we've cleared the woods. Is the village you mentioned past these grasslands? Should be. Ta! Ta! Did you wind up in that mess anyway? Ah, uh, well, I came across this peddler, you know, a guy with a cart. He was running for his life from these beasts, and well. And you just couldn't turn a blind eye. Yeah, that sounds like you, Leo. But where did he go after you stepped in? Where do you think? He ran to safety. All thanks to yours truly, who got the beast's attention. Leo, this was a total stranger, right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, Leo, did you get anything in return for helping him? Did you get his contact information? Did he at least thank you in some way or form? <laughs> Don't be silly, Celia. There wasn't any time for that, obviously. And if we're talking about what I got in return, I just boosted my nobility big time. What could be more valuable than that? <sighs> hey, why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. We just need to keep an even closer eye on our boy. Right, Mama Celia? Right, Papa Hugo. Just be careful. What's going on here? Where did all these pole wiggles come from? We don't really have time for this. But if we let them go free, they might cause harm to the village. Let's take them out quickly. Right then. Let's do it! I'm already on it! Good now, right? I think so. Let's move on. Why do you think there were so many of them? 
Maybe they were out enjoying this beautiful day. Even Bullwiggle's gotta bask in the sun every now and then. Yeah, I highly doubt that's what they were doing. Just to be sure, Leo. You do remember what our mission is, right? Huh? Uh, oh, of course. Um, it's, you know, fight for world peace and whatnot. What do you think we are? Did you hit your head or what? Uh, the hair! Ah! Uh, can you get him up to speed, Celia? Okay. Attention. After growing up as childhood friends, we enrolled at the Federation's Edis Knight Academy together. The three of us are first years. We're students of the class Blaze. Are we good so far? Yeah, of course. You can keep going if you want, though. What's with that arrogant air of yours? <sighs> All right, I'll keep going. So, being with Blaze means that we're a bit special. We serve as an immediate response force that takes on missions when the army requests it. Right. And we get these missions because we're so special and awesome, right? Like we've already got our embleos and everything. I guess you could put it like that. Still, that doesn't make us defenders of world peace. 